Hey y'all. Like I said in my other video, I'm not doing my intro anymore. I was trying to stick with it, but I'm just gonna talk. Um, this just popped in my mind. I uh, saw a video the other day. It was a lady about 85. Um, her family tricked her. Look, I call it trick. Her family get, gave her a surprise party. When she walked in and realized what was happening, uh, she gave everybody the middle finger. And she did it a couple times, but then eventually uh, they showed other pictures. She was happy and stuff, whatever. So I was reading the comments, and it's, it was like st straight down the middle. Half the people were like ungrateful, old bitch. Like she should be happy. People even cared enough about her to give her a party. Next time, just leave her in a nursing home. Uh, just give her some money and leave her alone. Uh, let her spend her birthday by herself. Excuse me. The other half were like, she's an introvert. Like me. Introverts don't like surprises for the most part. For the most part. Not every single one of you. It could always be one of you motherfuckers in the comments. Well, I do, and I'm an introvert. Good for you, motherfucker. Most of us don't. But yeah, most of us introverts do not like surprises. So being given a surprise party is horrifying. Any kind of surprise or you walk into a room, all the people are there for you. To a person who is outgoing or so-called regular person, that is so sweet, wonderful. The person so grateful. It's not that the introvert is not grateful. It's just that being in a setting like that with all eyes focused on you is a is your nightmare come true. And so many people don't get that. And then introverts, we spend our lives having to thank people for shit we didn't ask them to fucking do. For stuff we would have preferred them to not do. For things we specifically requested not be done, but they do it anyway. If you're with the introvert, right? If you're if you're an introvert woman, this bitch doing behind me. These niggas are so dumb. Ooh, I hate them. If uh, you're with the introvert woman, and let's say you decide you want to um, get engaged to her, and you decide you're gonna gather everybody together, or you decide in a big public restaurant you're gonna ask her to marry you. When she acts awkward, it's not because she doesn't want to marry you. It's because she's horrified that all eyes are on her during this extremely intimate moment. Sometimes I think, I think proposals are about men trying to show off. It's not about... Uh -uh. It's not so much about the women. It's about them trying to show off. Because they men will be with the woman who, who is very introverted and quiet and to herself. And put her in these public spectacles so he can be seen. But anyway... Another story for another time. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I'll give my one story. At my last job. My co-worker meant well. But, and I ended up telling her thank you and stuff. And really forcing myself to pretend to be grateful for something I specifically said. When I first started the job, I said, I don't like surprises. I don't want my birthday to be celebrated. I want it to be a regular day. So here's what most dumb motherfuckers think. They think, oh, she wasn't loved. She wasn't cared for. She doesn't know how to uh, how to handle care. I'm going to show her love and care. For the first time in her 40 plus years of life, I'm going to be the one to show her I care. That's why she doesn't want any direct recognition. Because... She, because when I, she hasn't had it like this. Because when I give it to her, she's going to be appreciative and she's going to be overcome. No, motherfucker. I'm going to be pissed. Because I told you on my first fucking day of work, I don't like attention on me. I, I told, I, this is really a true story. I told the person on my first day, no, no, first to second day. When they were asking a little goofy ass birthday questions and let you know they're going to do something on your fucking birthday. I said, I don't like it. Respect my wishes. I don't like it. And then at work, you're like not a team player or you have an issue or something's wrong with you if you don't play that stupid ass game. So at work, you don't have a choice, unfortunately. You have to, if you're an introvert and it's your birthday, it is, what was that? It's like the worst day ever because you have to be 
your boundaries have to be compromised and you have to ultimately be disrespected because it's disrespectful. If somebody asks you not to do anything for them, if they tell you, if you do this thing, I will be extremely uncomfortable and you do it anyway, that is disrespectful. You are violating a person's boundaries. You're not going to make me like it. You're going to make me piss the whole day. You're going to actually fuck up my whole birthday. You have now, if this is a work team or somebody you know, if you do that to an introvert, you have now fucked up their birthday so you can look good. So you can feel good. Fuck them and fuck their boundaries and fuck what makes them comfortable. As long as you feel good. When people violate an introvert's boundaries is to make them feel good. You're telling the, the introvert, fuck you. Fuck your special day. I'm going to force this on you. That's how it feels for an introvert. And people don't get that. But yeah, um, the co-worker did do that. And balloons and this gift. And I told you I don't want that. But people think they're, they're doing this amazing new thing for you. I mean, people have given me things on my birthday and celebrated me and made me feel amazing. A lot. So I've been celebrated. I've been made to feel good. But I don't like... That's another thing. Like, my birthday's personal. So I don't want... Oh, here we go, too, with the, with the birthday thing at work. This is not really an introvert thing. This is an invasion of privacy thing. So how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Oh, this makes you how old? Any other time, I don't want to discuss my age at work. It's my personal preference not to discuss my age. But on my birthday, I'm suddenly invaded. And I have to be awkward. I have to be uncomfortable. It's my personal right if I don't want to share my age. So then I have to just do all this awkward laughing and all this goofy shit. And be invaded and just strip down on my birthday. And just be subjected, subjected to a lot of shit I don't, I wouldn't have to deal with if you had just left me the fuck alone. <laughs> it's not difficult to do it, even be an introvert at this point, but yeah, I'm just thinking about that. This is my nightmare come true. Right now, I'm in the turning lane, and it's on green light, but it's at your, Jesus, I don't want to die like this. I, when, when the turning light does not get the arrow where you can legally turn and it's at your discretion that is a nightmare to me I can't stand that oh it scares me so bad but anyway but yeah to any of y'all who know an introvert and if you spend every year forcing things on them like this or forcing them into public situations on their birthdays you're not helping them get out of their shell they don't need to get out of a shell Introverts kind of like being alone. And if a few of you show up for their birthday, excuse me, food in my mouth still. Or you have a small gathering, four or five people at their house. Introverts like that. Introverts don't want to be put into a big party situation. Introverts don't want to be the center of attention. Not because we don't think that we're worthy. Because we are introverts. Introvert is not a character flaw. It's a characteristic of who you are. Just like being outgoing is not a character flaw. It's a characteristic of who you are. Sometimes outgoing people are really fucking annoying. Sometimes people who are really outgoing, I say, man, can you shut the fuck up? Are you still talking? It just need to be heard. That shit gets on people's nerves. Just like the introvert, where sometimes you're like, damn, can you talk? You just gonna stand and be quiet. Neither is a flaw. It's a characteristic that can equally get on people's nerves. But uh, what do y'all think? Y'all think? Or do y'all realize? Do y'all think it's invasive to throw surprise parties for introverts? And or do you understand that it's invasive? Do you think if somebody has specifically requested for you not to do something for them and you do it anyway? Do you think and or do you understand that that's violating their boundaries? And that what you're doing nice for them is more about you than them? And that they end up in a situation feeling uncomfortable so that you can feel good on their birthday. Like, I wonder if people understand how fucked up that is. But then introvert as usual just smiles because we don't want to make y'all feel bad. Our birthday, we don't want to make y'all feel bad. How fucked up is that? Oh yeah, one last thing. When I work for Ice. <laughs> oh God, Ice used to 
the government is weird. They used to make us have parties. They would make us have fun time. They called it fun time. And it and we could have fun time for one hour. And then as soon as it was over, it was like fun time over. And we had to clean up and get back to work. So, ugh. I don't want to talk about that story. It was very, very awkward on my birthday what they did. And working for the government is very, very weird. <laughs> Somebody told me in the comments when I was talking about working from home on a community post I took down, I said how much it, how horrible it was for me. And then the young lady came in the comments and she was like, I love it. And I was just like, you don't know where I worked. No offense, young lady. You don't know where I worked. You don't know what I did. The government has a trillion layers, a trillion jobs. And I'm not you and you're not me. Your experience is not mine. So because you love working for the government, working from home, you don't even have a clue what I did when I worked from home. You're not me. And it was my community post sharing my experience. So if people always, I don't know, that's another thing. And I'm done. Why do people do that? When you put on your community post about your life, somebody comes in, well, I don't agree. It's my fucking community post. I don't care if you agree. It's my post about my shit. Go post on your community wall about your shit. I'm posting about me. Why are you telling me what you don't agree with? The fuck? Weird. But yeah, I'm so glad that she loved working for the government, working from home. Without knowing what I did, without knowing what my experience was. It's good for you for post telling me on my community wall how much you loved it. No, no, no self realization, no self-awareness. A lot of people lack self-awareness. I don't know why a person wouldn't, and I'm sorry to the person if they're seeing this. I'm sorry, no offense to you. But like people, like that's called no self-awareness. When you see somebody's community post about themselves, and then you come in and say the opposite, well, like, if I put on my community post, I had a bad day, and they say, well, I had a good day. What? It's completely lacking self-awareness. But anyway, that's why I was saying about introverts. Introverts' boundaries need to be respected. Forcing those parties, forcing those things, an introvert not saying anything and smiling is because they don't want to disrespect you or hurt your feelings. And really think about that. You are making it more about you when you force that on them. And you completely fuck up their whole day because you want to feel good. So I'll end it with that. How fucked up is that? Sick, in it? Think about it. Bye.